Have you ever wondered how the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, a struggle that has shaped the Middle East, began? It's a tangled tale, but let's start to unravel it. Our story begins in the year 1948 with the birth of a new nation, Israel. This event, celebrated by some, was a catastrophe, or Nakba, for others. The establishment of Israel led to the forced displacement of an estimated three-quarters of a million Palestinians from their homes. For many Palestinians, the memory of the Nakba is a critical part of their identity. But the story doesn't end there, it just gets more complicated. In the same year, the Arab-Israeli War broke out. This conflict saw Palestinian civilian massacres by some Jewish militias, a fact that is reported by Israeli sources themselves. Yet, Israelis view this period from a different lens. After the horrors of the Holocaust, hundreds of thousands of Jews found refuge in the newly created state of Israel. Jewish migration to Palestine was not a new phenomenon, it had been happening for decades under Ottoman and British rule. For Jews around the world, Israel was seen as a sanctuary, a place where they could live without fear. The creation of Israel and the subsequent displacement of Palestinians set the stage for a conflict that would span decades. In the years that followed, the world would witness the struggle for control over this contested land, a struggle that continues to this day. So as we delve deeper into this complex issue, remember that it's not just a question of land or borders, but of identity, history, and the human desire for a place to call home. It's a story that's still being written, a story that affects us all no matter where we are in the world. As the newly formed state of Israel began to take shape, so too did the contours of the conflict. The years that followed the birth of Israel were not ones of peace, but of continued strife and territorial disputes. The Six-Day War of 1967 saw Israel in conflict with Egypt, Jordan, and Syria. A swift victory allowed Israel to seize control of the Gaza Strip and the Sinai Peninsula from Egypt, the West Bank, and East Jerusalem from Jordan, and the Golan Heights from Syria. Yet this was not the end, but merely the beginning of a new chapter in the Israeli-Palestinian saga. The Yom Kippur War of 1973, initiated by Egypt and Syria, was a desperate attempt to reclaim the territories lost in the Six-Day War. Despite initial successes, the war ended in a ceasefire, with Israel retaining control of the captured territories. As Israel expanded its borders, it began to establish Jewish settlements in these occupied territories, particularly in the West Bank and Gaza Strip. This move was met with international criticism. The United Nations Security Council, in its Resolution 242, emphasized the inadmissibility of the acquisition of territory by war and called for the withdrawal of Israeli armed forces from occupied territories. However, these calls have largely fallen on deaf ears. The establishment of Israeli settlements in the West Bank and Gaza Strip has not only led to a further displacement of Palestinians, but also created a patchwork of territories. This has made the idea of a contiguous and viable Palestinian state increasingly challenging. The settlements, considered illegal under international law, have been a major sticking point in peace negotiations and have further complicated the path to a two-state solution. These territorial disputes further fueled the fire of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The Israeli occupation and the expansion of settlements have not only reshaped the physical landscape of the region but also deeply entrenched the conflict, making it a lasting feature of the Middle East. The struggle for self-determination and sovereignty gave rise to uprisings and the establishment of new political entities. In the late 80s a wave of civil disobedience and protests erupted in the Palestinian territories. This was the first Intifada, a grassroots rebellion against Israel's occupation of the West Bank and Gaza. It was marked by strikes, boycotts, and a refusal to comply with Israeli authorities. The uprising was a manifestation of the Palestinians' yearning for self-governance. In the midst of this turmoil, a new player emerged on the scene. Hamas, an acronym for Islamic Resistance Movement, was created. It quickly gained traction among Palestinians for its uncompromising stand against Israel and its provision of social services. However, its use of suicide bombings and rocket attacks led to its designation as a terrorist organization by the United States, the United Kingdom, and the European Union. Fast forward to the present day, the West Bank and East Jerusalem remain under Israeli occupation. They've been dotted with Jewish settlements, which have been heavily criticized by the international community. The UN Security Council has called these settlements a flagrant violation of international law. On the other hand, the Gaza Strip is ostensibly under the control of Hamas. But the reality is far more complex. Israel maintains a tight blockade on Gaza, controlling its borders, airspace and coastline. 
The restrictions have led to a humanitarian crisis, with the United Nations warning that Gaza could become uninhabitable by 2020. Yet, despite the grim reality, the Palestinian spirit remains unbroken. They continue to aspire for a state of their own, living side by side with Israel in peace and security. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict today remains rooted in these historical complexities and contrasting perspectives. It's a story of two peoples, both with legitimate aspirations and deep historical grievances, caught in a cycle of conflict and mistrust. And it's a story that continues to shape the Middle East and the world. It's a story that we must understand, if we are to hope for peace. Understanding the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is not about choosing sides, but about acknowledging the deep-seated historical grievances and the human cost involved. This is a conflict that is steeped in history, filled with narratives of displacement, struggle, and the quest for a homeland. It's a story of two peoples who both lay claim to the same land, each with their own narratives of justice and survival. This is a tale that has seen the rise of nations and the fall of empires, the creation of homes and the displacement of peoples. It's a narrative that has been written in the blood of countless individuals who have suffered and continue to suffer. It's a story that continues to unfold today, with each new event adding another layer to the complex tapestry of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. As we continue to grapple with this issue, let us remember that at the heart of this conflict are people who simply want to live in peace and security.